A roaring rescue. A roaring rescue. A roaring rescue. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jews to their own country, Babylon. <laughs> Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new law. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into a lion's den. Darius agreed. <laughs> Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he'd been tricked but couldn't change the law. Daniel was thrown to the lions. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouths. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. When Daniel was thrown into the den, God's angel protected him from what kind of animal? God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemy. The brave and beautiful queen. Esther was the queen of Persia. Even her husband, King Xerxes, didn't know her secret. Esther was Jewish. Esther's cousin Mordecai worked at the palace and looked out for her. Xerxes' advisor, Haman, received a great reward. He was very proud. Everyone except Mordecai bowed down to him. Haman was insulted. He vowed to kill Mordecai and all the Jews. Haman told Xerxes that the Jews were dangerous and should die. Xerxes agreed and set a day to kill them. Mordecai was terrified and sent a message to Queen Esther. Change the king's mind, 
said Mordecai. If I go to him without his invitation, he can have me killed, Esther replied. Perhaps you were made queen just for this moment, said Mordecai. bravely agreed to try. She went to the throne room. King Xerxes was amazed by her beauty and invited her in. Can we have dinner with Haman? She asked. Boom, right now. in his backyard. He planned to hang Mordecai on it. Then the king's invitation arrived, so Haman went to the palace for dinner. A man wants to kill me and my people, the Jews, <coughs> Esther told Xerxes. Who would do such a thing? He asked. The evil Haman, Esther cried. Haman, guards, put him to death. <laughs> so Haman was hanged on the gallows he built for Mordecai. Because of Esther, the Jews were saved. They celebrated with a great feast, which they observe to this day. God allowed Esther to be the queen at this time to save the Jewish people from death. True or false? Is it death? A voice in the night. The walls go up. Nehemiah was the cupbearer to King Artaxerxes of Persia. Nehemiah heard that Jerusalem was in ruins and that his friends there were in trouble. He asked God to help them. <laughs> God gave Nehemiah the courage to speak to King Artaxerxes. Nehemiah asked if he could go to Jerusalem and help them fix their walls. Artaxerxes agreed. Nehemiah left for Jerusalem. Nehemiah walked around Jerusalem. Things were even worse than he'd heard. This will be a big job, he told the people. But with God's help, we can rebuild these walls. Everyone worked in families and groups, fixing the gates first. They fixed the sheep gate, the fish gate, the dung gate, and the other gates. Then they started rebuilding the walls. First, their enemies laughed, but as the walls grew higher, those enemies prepared to attack. 
So God's people worked with a tool in one hand and a sword in the other. After just 52 days, the wall was finished. Ezra the priest read God's law to the people. They promised to obey God's law and praised him for protecting them. The walls go up. The first Christmas gift. The angel Gabriel told Mary, You will have a baby. How? asked Mary. I'm not married. God's Holy Spirit will come down to you. The baby will be God's son. Mary believed him. engaged to Joseph, but he didn't believe her story, so an angel visited him too. Mary's not lying. Her baby will be God's son. You must name him Jesus. Many months passed. Then, they traveled to Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown, to be counted by the government. After that long journey, Mary was ready to give birth. But all the ends in Bethlehem were full. So God's son was born in a stable, wrapped in cloths, and laid on a bed of hay. They named him Jesus. Jesus보다 영어로 Jesus보다 예수님이 더 똑바래요. 바로. That night, an angel appeared to some shepherds in the hills near Bethlehem. Good news, the angel said. Your savior has been born. He's in Bethlehem, lying in a manger. 또 있네요. 예. God for what he had done. 
Yogi. Bu videoda da yan yetmesin. <gülüyor> Onun için kulaksın gözünde ne